So cyborg zombies and knights, it's a, it's a quaint way to keep the team focused on um, what we see with hyperconnectivity and the increased, um, I guess, integration of technology with humans and how we interface with our technology. And as the, the zombies is obviously threat landscape and then the knights, like knights, right? K-N-I-G-H-T-S. Um, and uh, best practices for how we win in this new environment. So when, when we talk about uh, cyborgs, we talk about the, the, the expanded internet connectivity, the movement away from extended hardware to hardware that's with us, like mobile devices and now the new uh, Google Glass and the integration of our technology closer and closer to us until at some point it'll be part of us, right? I like cyborgs, right? Let's get to, if you get that idea. Um, and, and, we, and we see that now with Google Glass and with a lot of the experimentation that is going on with um, even brain to computer interfaces and there's quite a bit of, of, of that going on now for, in both for gaming as well as to improve the quality of life for the disabled so that they can move physical objects just through, just through brain activity. Um, that is going to play a big part in our future over the next five to ten years. Right? And there's quite a bit of, uh, there's quite a few initiatives to, that are moving in that direction. And at some point, maybe 20 years from now, you will be able to move your entire conscious into a virtual world and be as comfortable in that virtual world as you are in the physical world today. Um, and then we got a little bit of work to do between here and there. Now the, the zombies piece, obviously we're all familiar with zombified machines and, and malware that has your machine doing things that you don't expect it to do when you're not paying attention to it. Either uh, getting up in the middle of the night and attacking some other site or um, actually doing things in the browser that you don't want it to be doing. Um, that's a huge issue. It's a huge challenge across all of the verticals. And, and we're seeing a transition really from end user machines and end user devices being compromised to the movement to the cloud and cloud infrastructure being compromised by our adversaries, which gives them a huge advantage over individual less connected devices to massive uh, processing capability, massive bandwidth and massive amounts of IP space that they can rotate through to make it more difficult to mitigate, uh, mitigate attacks. And then the final, probably the most important piece for me is the Knights, and that's how to build a team with your partners and your vendors that is capable of collaborating uh, to the point of winning this, uh, this battle, right, against our adversaries. The, the challenge that we have is the internet is the great equalizer. It provides our adversaries the same access to intelligence and information and system designs that we have. Right, so we're on a level playing field. The old ways of defending against those kinds of adversaries don't work anymore. You can't defend the, the capacity and the quantity of attacks that we see across the board. Now for a fixed infrastructure, it's the old uh, imagine a line analogy where you build a big fort and then they either you know, find a way in around, you know, they've got all the time in the world to find your, your weak spot and then get into you. So that's really the, the cyborg zombies and knights and the way that we kind of quantify those three 